Hi everyone, I'm Kevin from Wavefactor Web3 Software Agency from Austria and today I want to share with you a couple of let's say key learnings uh, I had uh, this year especially one let's say investment I actually wanted to make in I would say a laser company it's a positive story so I think it's not that uh, that big of a deal if people can find it out um, basically it was a laser company like those cleaning services and uh, like so, so, so something like uh, with a franchise upside and these kind of things. So it, it sounded on paper really interesting and the founder actually was already doing research and working on it for over two years and has already the inventory and talks with a lot of uh, people, has a lot of leads and already sells uh, to clients so basically everything you want to see in a founder right and he also has another business that is one of a really really successful business in in Tyrol. and that's just his new venture basically so he is sure so he actually knows what he does right and yeah we talked a couple of times like actually already uh evaluated the deal structure and uh, if we have enough synergies if I can help him in the way he needs to uh, because the, the it was quite interesting let's put it that way of course he doesn't need the money right he doesn't need the investment itself but what he needed was a co-founder who helps him to do all these things that he can't do that well right basically just his weaknesses were my strengths and the other way around, right? He was really, really, really great at selling. He actually was a seller. Uh, he, uh, you know, had all these things that I don't have at that scale. And the other way around, I'm a developer. I know how to optimize processes. I know how to, you know, um, scale internal processes like with documentation and all these kind of things like what are the right tools and b basically we really had some strong synergies so of course there was some mutual hype actually like in a rational way oh well this could work out right uh, this could be really interesting especially for me doing business or working with someone who actually knows what he does uh, sounds really appealing to me since I'm uh, you know not that experienced as he is of course so it was also something like, oh, I could learn a lot from that guy. And yeah, he at the same time, even with the deal structure, he was really, really fair with what he suggested and uh, actually really just good vibes. And at that time, I already knew uh, what is a proper valuation. He actually didn't value his time at all. Uh, just the inventory. Oh, yeah, he valued his time at a really, really low low scale and for two years hard work and showing clients and leads and all that kind of stuff and having the inventory going all risk uh that's more than fair and it's a really really small part right at the same time um so it was really appealing uh, on all sides and even more so that um, i was introduced uh, to him from uh, a close friend i would say someone that I know a little bit longer and that I trust so it sounded not like a no-brainer but it sounded like a good deal for both sides and yeah of course we have talked uh, several times and evaluated uh, the, all these things and I basically got on got unsure because of one key thing and that was focus and because the major thing is he wasn't searching just for money, he was searching for a co-founder, someone who is actively putting a lot of effort into his or then our business. And that is fair, of course, but would mean that I would have less focus, less time, less resources, less energy specifically for Wayfact. And Wayfact is at a stage, like the Web3 software agency, 
that we are growing right now and things look actually pretty good i would say or i, I dare to say despite the the market and i'm, I'm not my, my conclusion was after talking with two of my mentors like or people that i trust let's put it that way friends however you want to call it and they didn't even uh you know pushed me towards saying no it was actually myself uh, e even more so uh, after watching alex homosis uh, content who said uh, if you are below one mil in profit uh, per year you shouldn't own more than one company <laughs> and that actually made so much sense to me and then i talked with my mentors because i got unsure uh, despite actually looking at a pretty sure good deal i got uh, like the accounting the income statement all these things um, it looked really good and yeah basically for the sake of focus for the sake of where i am right now i said no and i'm of course still not sure if that was the right decision but I'm pretty sure it was the right decision for Wavefact. Right? Um, because when we invest into companies, I think it needs to be at this time a kind of investment that at maximum requires my time for some time. For example, we build your MVP and get some stake uh, or something like that and revenue share uh, like over a course of three months makes sense right uh that's just push it through um or you in make a monetary investment and you don't you know you maybe take an advisory role or something like that uh that all makes sense right uh, that doesn't really distract you from your core business but if you actually have two businesses that you need to work on in an operative way and even in a strategic manner then that becomes an issue so that was the key decision that I had to make this year, not even that long ago, I think like three, four months. And I'm happy with it, but yeah, let's see how it plays out. And yeah, I just want to share that with you because I always had an issue with focus, even so much that people told me that I have, a, have an issue with focus, not on the micro scale, but on the macro scale. Like, oh, let's do that, let's do that. Like the shiny object syndrome. I'm pretty sure that I had this. I still have it sometimes, but now I have it under control. And for a long time, I always had somewhat two businesses, right? Uh, that was the main issue I had with this deal, like that I would have again two businesses and it never worked out so far i always thought it's a good deal and yeah so that was the key learning in that regard and i hope you can take uh, something from this and uh you know thank you for watching